This is a short look at host names, scan name and IP addresses in an Oracle Rack cluster. Remember the cluster is managed by the clusterware which is installed and configured when you install grid infrastructure. The Rack is the database that runs on top of this clusterware. So you got to be uh, aware that these are two different pieces of software. The clusterware manages the IP addresses, the scan and the listeners the database software manages the database which runs on top of the cluster. So first let me bring up the hosts file to show you the IP addresses. I have a two node cluster SRV1 and SRV2. So SRV1's public IP is 56.90 okay, and private IP is 10.8. Similarly SRV2 is 56.92 and 10.10. .10. Now the cluster where will also add a VIP so the VIPs are also mentioned here 91 for server 1 and 93 for server 2 so I just uh, put the next number as the VIP number so 90 becomes 91 for the VIP 92 becomes 93 for the VP, VIP now the idea of a VIP is a VIP is not statically assigned to a host dot 90 is permanently assigned to this host but 91 may migrate to another host if this host goes down so this is a virtual name based on a virtual IP address this one is statically assigned is the private uh, IP address so it's got a private name and that is only used for the interconnect it is not used by the clients to connect to the server similarly SRV2 also has a public and a private address and a virtual IP which may or may not be running on SRV2 then of course you would have heard of the three scan listeners uh, the three scan IP addresses so I will show you the IP addresses that are running currently you can run a com command called ifconfig just for reference I'll bring up the host file here so you can compare the entries okay so here 56.90 is a public IP for server 1 which you can see here 56.96 56.95 these two are the scan IPs which you can see here 96 and 95 okay 56.91 is the public uh, is the uh, virtual IP for server 1 10.8 is the private IP, IP for server 1 for the interconnect this is a different IP which we do not configure in the DNS server but this is what Oracle calls Oracle HA IP which was introduced I think in 11.2 grid infrastructure clusterware so this is another IP which is completely managed by the Oracle clusterware 169.254 if you know your networking you know 169.254 is also a reserved CADR range for private addresses so Oracle will automatically configure this IP address as well within the cluster. Then this is a third e e e e uh, e interface which I use to connect to the internet. So I have first interface ETH0 on which I have additional IP addresses. This is the host IP. This is the virtual IP. These two are the scan IPs 96 and 95. ETH1 is another interface on which I have the private interconnect and what Oracle creates is the Oracle HAIP okay. and TH2 is the one that connects to, inter to the internet. Similarly if I were to compare here it 92 I'll just bring up the host file here okay so 92 is the server 2 IP address public IP 93 is the server to virtual IP and 94 is the scan IP the first scan IP if you notice here two scan IPs 95 and 96 were running on server 1 while 94 is running on server 2 so that's how the three scan IPs are allocated automat automatically by the cluster where then 10.10 .10 is the uh, private interconnect IP 169.254 is the Oracle HA IP and dot one dot seventeen is the IP I, I use to connect to the outside internet so you can also see that using 
and let's look up you can see the, the scan IP is for example So if I do an NS lookup on a DNS server which I've configured, this is my DNS server. If I do an NS lookup, it says there are three IP addresses which are written 94, 95, 96. If I were to run the command again, it returns the three IP addresses in a different sequence, right? So that's how it does round robin allocation or round robin returning of the IP addresses. So right now we know that 96 and 95 are running on server 1 while 94 is running on server 2 here so if I were to uh, say SSH to that IP address let's SSH to USA. SSH to you can see that I am now on server 2 okay so if I SSH to dot ninety four, which is the first, which is one of the three scan IPs, dot ninety four is running on hostname server two. From here, if I were to SSH to one eighty two one sixty eight dot fifty six. You can see that ninety five is running on server 1. You can also verify that using the cluster where so let's ignore the the listeners themselves and all the other resources we look, we ignore the ASM listener we ignore the uh, the disk groups data and FRA for the time being so you can see here the first scan listener is running on server 2 which is actually the 94 address right 94 address on server 2 and scan 2 and scan 3 are running on server 1 so that map matches what we have just seen so and then the, the, there are the VIPs this is this the scan 1 there's a VIP for server 2 there's a VIP for server 1 and the VI, uh, Oracle can also manage multiple VIPs so you can see the multiple VIPs being created this is the database itself running on both instances uh, I mean both instances are running on both nodes so so this shows me that uh, scan 1 is running on server 2 and scan 2 and 3 are running on server 1 I'll just show you that again see scan 2 is running on server 1 second scan is running on server 1 and the third scan is also run, uh, running on server 1 so the first scan IP is 94 right so let me just SSH to that and that is running on server 2 Similarly, I can verify the virtual IPs. So, virtual IP for server 1 is running on server 1. And let's check the virtual IP for server 2. is running on server 2 so you have server 1's virtual IP running on server 1 server 2's virtual IP on server 2 the first scan IP on server 2 and the scan the se second and third scan IPs are running on server 1 so what happens if one node goes down let me just shut down server 1 okay so oops I think I shut down server 2 anyway it doesn't matter if I shut down server 2 I can restart it later so if I shut down server 2 so this is server 1's IP 
196 I mean dot 96 dot 95 and 94 all three scan IP is now running on server 1 91 and 93 are the IPs for server 2 91 is the public IP and 93 is the virtual IP remember 93 was the virtual IP of server 2 but now it has migrated to server 1 so if I were to SSH to that so you can see now server 2 virtual IP dot 93 is running on server 1 so this virtual IPs are not really statically tied to the corresponding servers names those actually are virtual names the only ones that are really tied are the public IP and the private IP the private IP will never migrate the public IP will never migrate but the virtual IPs will migrate if, an, if the node goes down and the, the, the three scan IPs are distributed amongst the nodes of the cluster I did an SSH so let me just open the original session so if I run a cluster status I can see all three scan listeners are running on server 1 and I can see that the disk groups have gone down on server 2 okay currently I don't have server 3 in, in this cluster so it we are only consider concern, concerning server 1 and server 2 so these groups have gone down on server 2 which is fine and the database is offline on server 2 but it is still online on server 1 and you can see the, the VIPs are all running on server 1 I don't have a third node of the cluster so we consider only with we are concerned only with 1 and 2 not with 3 if I were to if I were to bring up server 2 again then one of these scan IPs will, will migrate back to server 2 I cannot say which of these scan IPs that is automatically managed by the cluster where but one of these three server IPs running uh, scan IPs currently running on server 1 will migrate to server 2 if I bring up server 2 again 